Hi everyone! May you be inspired, learn something new, or simply relax while watching. So here we are going to do a Wrecker Ring. So I'm starting off with some colours. I'm working in the blue shades. So I've got a cobalt blue, this is a turquoise, uh, ultramarine deep, I'm also using Mars Black and Gold. So I will actually have the brands to the colours and mixtures, all that uh, noted down in the description below. So just filling up the cup, um, putting the colours, I don't want them to really squirt into each other, which was why I was doing them around the cup. But let's see. So creating the look of the rings now using the swell technique. There we go, that looks awesome. And the cups, they always look pretty. So I just need to level out my canvas. Apparently I put the placement down in the incorrect spot, so just fix that. So now it's time to work out where I'm going to wreck it. And what I'm going to use. I think I'm going to use the back of a paintbrush. So just creating a few lines. I wanted to cross through the middle because I didn't want to leave that section but because the paint will roll over itself as it stretches out a majority of what's left behind will only be that center center portion center area. So I'm just, before I deliberately go off the edges, just moving it around to the corners and back to the middle to try and keep as much shape as possible. So it depends on the technique that you're doing as to how you'd like to tilt it. And that's just going to come from practicing. So if you've ever thought you might like to do this, just jump on, jump right in. Jump on in, give it a go, and work out what feels right for you. So as you can see, that is just that kind of center section that is left. So just seeing if anything develops while I touch up those corners and the sides. Clearing away any air bubbles using a torch. That is just a chef's torch that uh, is refillable with butane, butane gas. Alright, so we'll have a close up. We'll start down here. I'll try it. Sometimes these lines are so stunning and wavy and look quite dimensional. I love that. I think you can see every single colour in some areas, especially this bit we're approaching here. That is gorgeous. So, down to this corner. Got more of that ultramarine deep in there. So sometimes it's good with the light. You can see certain um, reactions or shimmers or anything with it, but other times the glare is really makes it really difficult so here we go there's the look overall so just sharing some oh sharing some snapshots now thank you so much for watching if you've enjoyed this please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell and you'll be notified with new videos See that one using the glare shows the shimmer of the gold. There you go. Alright, if you found value in this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below and share it with others who might also appreciate it. Be kind, be creative and be fabulous. Bye.